Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Just a quick video for you today. Just want to talk you through the new update to Engine OS or Engine DJ. They've gone to version 2.1 and there is some interesting stuff in there, which I think is worth highlighting. It is available now. You can do the over the air, you know, download directly to your hardware from the web, or you can install it from a USB stick, whatever you want to do. Regular update process as normal, no issues there. Now with 2.1, there's a couple of big things that you get. Firstly, there is now support for Mac OS 12 Monterey, and there is also support for Windows 11. Now my thing is, I always recommend don't update your operating system unless you really, really have to. And I think at this point, there's really no reason why you would need to update to either of those operating systems on your DJ hardware, but you know, you can do it now. The option is there for you. And of course, some people are buying new laptops which come with those operating systems pre-installed. So it's great that the option is there. You can do that now with Engine DJ. The other big thing is the ability to connect up the LC6000 controllers to the Prime 4 from Denon DJ. Now that was talked about, kind of whispered about when the LC6000s first appeared. If you're not familiar, these are controllers. So they will work as a layer controller for the SC6000s, the SC5000s, etc. They can also work with Serato DJ Pro, Virtual DJ and stuff as well. So they are just kind of deck controllers, if you like. But now you can attach them to the Prime 4 and get a proper full-on four deck experience with your Prime 4. Now, one thing to say, they do connect up in a very straightforward fashion. You just connect the USB from the rear of the LC6000 into the required port on the back of the Prime 4. Now you've got two USBs on the back there, three and four. If you want one on the left, that is deck three. So that one you connect to port three. You want one on the right, you connect up to port four for deck four. And it's just as simple as that. I do recommend, and I think Denon DJ also recommend, that you use the power supplies that come with the LC6000s if you're gonna use them with this hardware. I've tested it without them. I don't have one plugged in right now to this one, but it's putting a lot of draw on the USB bus in this hardware. But yeah, once it's attached, you don't have to do anything else. It just sees it, it knows that's what it's for. You can browse from the unit itself, from the LC, so I can just load up a track. You've got your jog wheel, got your cue points, looping, track skip, beat jump, all of that stuff, the pitch control, all of this as you'd have normally, your needle drop. Absolutely superb. Now, the other thing to note with this is that you do get two new views. These don't just apply with the LC6000, these apply in general. If you're using four decks now with the Prime 4, you get these two new views. You have a vertical four deck view. Let's load up a couple of other tracks just to give you an idea of how that looks. Uh, one, and let's go that one. So you can see we've got four deck view. So nice, clean vertical view with your overview waveforms beside, and you can scroll through using your finger there as well. And if you hold shift and press the view button, then you have a horizontal four deck view as well. So you've got four waveforms there with your overviews up the top and all your track information up the top. And yeah, you don't need the LC6000s attached to open this up. If you just load tracks to all four decks, without that, you'll still get these views. I really like this way of working, giving you all the information that you're gonna need. And really, that's it. Like, it's very simple and straightforward. There are some other bug fixes and other bits and bobs in there, but on the whole, these are the, the big bits of news from it. And for me, I know there are a lot of Prime 4 users out there. I know the Prime 4 is an incredibly popular piece of hardware, and I know there are plenty of users who would like to get a third or fourth physical deck involved. So there you go, a quick look around Engine OS 2.1, some nice new features in there, particularly, of course, for the Prime 4 users, but in general, there's always gonna be nice bug fixes, etc. for all of you engine users. So go ahead, get it downloaded. It's been out for a few days at the time of making this video. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribed and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.